in an effort from the Home Office to help deal with the migrants uh, massing that we have in this country. The prison building experts have been called in to expand UK's migrants' detention centres in certain areas of the UK. I'm going to read it more than this, it's the exclusive from iNews, guys. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, guys. This is Regan Elite here with an exclusive from the I, from iNews. With the headline of prison building experts have called in to expand the UK's migrant detention centres. Now, I don't know about you guys. But this is like, again, they're just trying to put a plaster over some over a leak that just won't stop leaking, and it's just so annoying whatsoever. So so annoying this whole this whole fiasco. But the Home Office is looking at expanding its detention centre sites at Manston, Bexhill, and Yarl Wood. The Home Office has called in construction experts to help expand migrant detention centres using designs based on prisons amid the small boat crisis the eye can reveal. Construction firm Lango Ruang has been given a multi... Multi? No. Re say, re say again. Been given a million pound contract to help with the rapid construction of new blocks at immigration removal centres in England. The government has been attempting to rapidly expand the capacity of its migrant centres amid the failure so far of its Rwanda scheme to start deporting asylum seekers. Yeah, because it's unlawful and it's against international law as well. That's the problem. Langish Orug, a major UK construction firm with experience in building prisons, is to establish whether it is vi viable to build new blocks on sites in Bexhill in East, Su East Sussex, Yarwoods in Bedfordshire and Manston in Kent. The firm is expected to be paid £1.1 million for the work, which begins in July and is set to finish in October. The contract was categorised on the government's website as prison building construction work and services relating to the detention and rehabilitation of criminals. But these aren't criminals, these are migrants. So Roger Gale, the Conservative MP, whose constituency includes the Madison Processing Centre where asylum seekers are being temporarily are being taken temporarily for checks once they have arrived in the UK, told the iNews told the iNews that the new buildings on their site would represent mission creep and that it was against it being treated as a refugee camp. According to the terms of the contract, the centres would be expanded using the designs of existing prisons with alternatives made in order to accommodate families and allow for site visits. A Home Office spokesperson told the I the government was committed to finding further solutions to, U to improving the UK's migrant descent centre. Set up a my set up a asylum centre process in France, in Calais, and you will fix all of this. We know this will fix the problem, and they are choosing not to fix the problem. There are currently about 2,500 places for detainees at immigration removal centres in England and Wales, but it is widely thought the government would need to ramp that up, that capacity, if its Rwanda, around. Rwanda plan to detain and remove all those arriving in the UK illegally was given the green light of the Supreme Court. With more than 16,000 across the channel in small boats in 2023 so far, Although ministers maintain the deterrent efforts to the removal to the East African nations means it would not have to detain tens of thousands of people crossing the channel. Designs that the construction firm will be looking to adapt are currently used for Category C facilities for lower risk offenders and it could prove more than a thousand new spaces to deter to detain asylum seekers. <coughs> so migration descent centre sites that could be expanded, so Yarmouth Woods, Manston and Bexhill there you can see in the pictures there of the free sites and where they're situated in the UK if you want to know as well. According to the contract, Langer will be expected to consult with the Home Office on the production of blueprints for the site, plotting out a number of buildings and number of storages, approximately total square foot required. Langer is one of four major construction firms that were awarded a joint one billion deal in 2021 to build four new adult prisons in the UK. It is the largest privacy owned construction company in the UK and is involved in some of the country's biggest building projects, including Everton FC's new stadium. The firm was recently appointed to work on the HMP Full Sutton project, a new £400 million prison which uses the same designs outlined in the Immigration Removal Centre contract. So, this is how the prison designs have been previously used. So a cell in Category C prison HMP 5 Wales in Welborough 
when small security house block designs have been used. So this is what it would, uh, this is what a cell would look like uh, there. Um, now, don't get me wrong, that looks less like a prison to me. Um, I mean, okay, it's still, I think, is this better than a barge though? Let me know down in the comments below what you think. The Home Office contract refers to the adaptation of the Ministry of Justice small security handbooks, prison designs for use at detention centres. Primarily used at Category C prisons, blocks accommodated around 60 prisoners per floor and have amenities including shared kitchens and living quarters given the low security nature of the facilities. It has been touted as cost and effect energy efficient. Equipped with solar powers, heat pumps and effective uh, energy effective lighting unit based on the design have already been built at HMP HMP5 wells with permission having been sought by the HMP Humber and HMP Gartry. HMP5 wells in Wellenborough opened in April 2022 and cost £253 million. It does not have bars on its windows and its cells are called rooms. Cells under this design are typically single occupants but it can fit two prisoners so they could design it if they wanted to to fit two. Government's plans to expand detention centres following the passing of the illegal migration bill which automatically declared the silent claim of anyone who entered the country illegally, particularly by small boat uh, void. More than 50,456 uh, asylum seekers are currently staying in hotels or temporary accommodation, a policy which you see and the Home Secretary Suella Breverman has pledged to end. The Home Office says the use of hotels costs the taxpayer £6 million a day. <sighs> Previous plans to expand Yardwood with temporary accommodations were abandoned in 2021. Following criticism, the Daily Mail reported in June of plans to expand Manston, with existing flats on the former airbase being converted into accommodation for migrants. The Tory MP for North Fadgett, Sir Roger, told the I, I've been given absolute undertakings by the Home Office Minister and the Ministry of State that they will not turn Manston into any, anything other than a processing centre. While there is currently an extension of capacity to ensure we don't let anyone into hotels who is a security risk, I would have a problem with Manston being treated as a refugee camp. <coughs> If they're talking of a new building that will represent as a mission creep and an act of bad faith on promises that I have been given. This is again another picture of accommodation block at Karakoi C prison HMP 5 Wells in Borough. So this is another how it would look on the outside. That looks a bit more like a, um, more like a prison there on the outside, doesn't it? Especially those doors. Like, that, that definitely has some... Um, Looks very, very, it's a, a very prison like, doesn't it? Sorry, that's uh, the, the blue doors. I'm looking, it's supposed to be looking at the blue doors, aren't I? It's just silly me. Last year, Madison grew severely overcrowded with around 400,000 migrants at one point in late October. The Home Office was accused of keeping them in inhumane conditions by both the Conservative and Labour MPs and David Neal, the Chief Inspector of Borders and Immigration. Bibby Stockholm Hodge can only accommodate 500 asylum seekers and last week the first 39 arrivals were moved off board due to Lee Colia being detected in the water supply. Mr Sunak said on Thursday day he was committed to using the barge despite setbacks adding it's about the unfairness in fact of British taxpayers forking out 5 million, 6 million a day to house illegal, uh, illegal migrants in the hotels up and down the country with all the pressure that puts on local communities. We've got to find an alternative in that and this is what this barge is all about and we are committed to it. In 2022 a man died in the Manson Detention Centre in the uh, uh, in the Manston Detention Centre of Diperia, having arrived from the UK from Iraq on a small boat uh, week, a week earlier. 49 case of di cases of diphtheria were identified in Manston in 2022. A Home Office spokesperson said we are committed to removal of foreign criminals and those who have no right to be in the UK. Immigration removal centres play a vital role in controlling our borders and we have to be have to be finding further solutions to scale up the detention capacity. Laney O'Rourke has been approached for comment. So in a desperate attempt, and once again, guys, they're looking to <sighs> prisons, um, prison expansion, anything and everything to kind of just push the move the problem somewhere else at the cost of us, the taxpayer, as opposed to actually dealing with the solution of the problem. Um, it is the, another way of looking at it, guys, is like a tree. I want you to imagine a tree, guys, and a tree and its branches, and it's consistently branches, so it's consistently growing, and they're growing so much that they're taking up too much space, right? The tree is growing, they're taking up too much space. Rather than cut the tree down, which would be the simplest solution, they're trying to cut all these branches. 
and there's more and more branches consistently growing out of this tree and they can't cut them all down because there's too many branches instead of cutting the root off the analogy is is that the root of the tree is setting up legal routes for these mi for migrations and asylum seekers coming to our country from France or wherever on the borders on the other side which would stop them grow coming over that's the analogy if you get it <sighs> waste of taxpayers money waste of time it's not going to solve the problem it's just moving the problem well, what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below like share and subscribe as always thank you very much for watching and i hope to f catch you all very very soon